Hi everyone, my name is Miguel Gavilla and I'm an applications engineer here at Go Engineer. Today I'll be showing you how to resolve the blank installation manager screen error that you see right here when trying to install SOLIDWORKS products. The reason for this error is because when unpacking the installation media zip file that we send out to our customers, Windows Explorer will sometimes block several of the necessary files required for the installation manager to continue. I'm going to show you three ways to get around this. The first method is to find another alternate archiving tool such as 7-Zip, downloading and installing it, and then once it's done inst being installed, finding the zip file, right-clicking on it, and selecting the appropriate 7-Zip options. Let's go ahead and hit Extract here, and once we do so, it will go ahead and unarchive the installation media without blocking those files. The second method is a little bit easier. All you need to do is right click on the zip file, go ahead and select file properties right here. And on the general tab of the file properties, we're going to go down here to security and select unblock. This will go ahead and allow you to unpack it as normal without blocking those necessary files. Now all I need to do is open it up just like I would and drag and drop it to wherever I want it to go, ready to be installed. The third and final method is for when you don't want to have to unpack it again. We're going to go ahead and fix this unpacked installation media by simply browsing to four key HTML files that are typically blocked. We're going to go to this directory, sldim, lang, english, html. And we're going to find these three files right here. I'll go ahead and put up the actual file paths and file names once again in the annotations in the upper right hand corner of the screen. Once we have found these HTML files, all we need to do is right click, properties, and select unblock, just like we did before. We're going to go ahead and hit OK and repeat the process for all the HTML files seen here. Now, depending on the year of the installation media you're using, there may be a fourth HTML file mentioned again in the annotations in the upper right-hand corner of the screen. Once you have completed this process, let's go ahead and use the setup.exe application once more. And now you'll notice that the installation manager is popping up with all the necessary options for the installation to continue. This has been Miguel de Villa here with Go Engineer. Thank you all very much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day.